Here are 10 new RPG games for iPhone and iPad in 2021. Number 10, we have Saga Frontier Remastered. Originally released on the first PlayStation in 1997, Square Enix are bringing this classic game back as a remastered version. It includes Fuse as an added playable character, new events and new cutscenes, which are not found in the original, HD graphics, and new high-speed function for more engaging gameplay. There are eight playable characters here, all with different endings and goals. Your choices will affect how the story unfolds using the free-form scenario system. The playtime here goes up to around 80 hours if you're a completionist. Saga Frontier Remastered is coming to the App Store on the 15th of April 2021 and will cost $24.99 USD. Number 9 is Titan Quest Legendary Edition. Titan Quest has been available on the App Store three times now. Now we have the fourth version, which is the Legendary Edition, which only arrived on the App Store in early February 2021. It's such a good version of the game that it basically feels like a completely new experience. It brings the base game, includes all three expansion packs, has technical updates, iCloud support, and controller support is coming in a future update. Across the 60 plus hours of playtime here, you will create a character, explore ancient civilizations, and fight against powerful creatures with fun hack and slash gameplay. All this is set against a mythological backdrop. Titan Quest is out right now on the App Store. It costs $17.99 USD. Number 8, we have Unsung Story. Unsung Story is out right now on PC in Early Access. However, the full game is coming to iPhone and iPad. The game is a spiritual successor to Final Fantasy Tactics. It has an interesting gameplay mechanic where spells are cast as songs and a long war has damaged music itself. The obvious next step is to create a team and go back in time to save the world. There will be 6 chapters, 45 levels, 20 jobs, 150 plus unique abilities, side quests and much more. A release window for mobile has not been shared. Number 7 is Dungeon of Endless Apogee. In this game you and your team of heroes must defend a generator inside your crashed ship and explore an ever-changing dungeon. While all of this is happening, waves of monsters and special events will come in your path. The key thing to remember is preparation. Gather a good team, build your defenses and open the doors. Now to be fair, this game was brought to iPad back in 2015 but was actually removed a few years later. Playdigits are bringing it back on the 16th of March and it will cost $7.99 USD. It will include an iPhone and iPad version, the base game, and the five DLC packs. Also included is iCloud support and a revamped interface. Number six, we have Geniforge 1, Mutagen. What we have here is a classic, low-budget role-playing game that brings ideas that are still fresh for today's modern gaming world. You get to play as a wizard who has the power to create life and more. It looks like there is so much here. Create a trap, a tool, use your spells, pets and monsters to defeat enemies, use dozens of skills and abilities, there are 80 zones to explore, 50 plus hours of playtime and different endings. Geniforge 1 Mutagen released on Mac and Windows on the 24th of February and will be coming to iPad soon. Number 5 is Diskia RPG. Diskia RPG is a mobile take on Nippon Ichi Software's well-received Diskia franchise. 
If you're not familiar with these games, it's best to know they focus on an over-the-top battle system, funny storylines, and a lot of numbers. The story takes place in the Nether world. It's ruled by demons, monsters, and overlords. It's up to you to enter this world to raise the strongest overlord. The Skier RPG is coming to the App Store on the 22nd of April 2021 and will be free to play. The beta was available in Japan previously, but this will be the global release. Number 4 we have My Time at Porsche. It surprised me how most people are unaware that this game is actually coming to iOS. It's a 3D simulation RPG set in a post-apocalyptic land. You follow the main character and will travel to Porsche, a small town, and you must restore your parents' workshop and the town itself. Take commissions, grow crops, raise animals, meet colorful characters, explore and battle, level up and so much more. And you can play it for well over 100 hours and still not experience everything on offer. The game is set to release on TapTap, a Chinese alternative to the App Store in 2021. No information has been shared on the App Store release yet. Number 3 is Cozy Grove. I like to think of this as a more friendly and colourful version of Don't Starve. In fact, the game is inspired by Don't Starve and Animal Crossing. Cozy Grove is a life sim all about surviving on a dangerous, ever-changing island. You play as a spirit scout and will explore the island, gathering resources, finding secrets, cooking food, crafting decorations, going fishing, and so much more. The main goal here is to help the local ghosts find peace in the afterlife. As you do this, the world around you will become more colourful. Cozy Grove is releasing in the first half of 2021 and will be a part of Apple Arcade. Number 2 we have Definity Original Sin 2. Larion Studios, Elverells and the Apple Metal Engineering team are bringing this highly acclaimed RPG to iPad. With over 100 hours of roleplay and over a million words of voiceover, it's Definity Original Sin 2. No word has been shared if it's coming to iPhone yet. Still, this game is going to be a game changer on Apple mobile devices. In 2020, Elvarel said on Twitter, We will try to pack it with the latest and greatest Apple technologies that will amaze and broaden people's expectations from modern iOS games. Definity Original Sin 2 was going to release on iPad in late 2020, but has been delayed. Don't worry, the project is still very much alive and news is said to come soon. Number 1 we have Fantasian. Fantasian is from the Final Fantasy creator and Mistwalker. Players can go through a unique world of handcrafted dioramas. The dioramas are scanned into the game and used as background elements. You and 3D characters are able to interact with the environments. Not much has been shared about the game apart from some teaser footage, some artwork and gameplay screenshots. Fantasian has been in development for the last three years and is almost complete. It is scheduled to be released on Apple Arcade sometime this year. Nia Reincarnation almost made it on this list, however I'm being cautious of the game's free to play model. It's available right now in Japan I believe and will release in other areas soon. I want to wait until it officially comes out before recommending it. What do you think of these new RPG games for iPhone and iPad? These are just some of the games I'm most excited about. There are many more RPG games to come in 2021, and ones that are yet to be announced, obviously. 
Anyway, leave a like to show your support and subscribe and turn on notifications to stay up to date with everything Apple gaming related. My name is Stewie and thanks for watching.